Mic check, mic check. Morning Masters podcast, your host, main of course. Um, another thinking out loud before I start, like I always do, I want to say um, thank you to everybody that supports the, um, the podcast, um, whether you're buying a shirt, sharing the podcast, listening, posting the link, um, reacting to my story, um, sharing whatever video I post, the snippets on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, just give me feedback if you're emailing me feedback telling a friend about the podcast word of mouth i want to thank any any supporters that i have um anybody that takes time out their day and what they got going on to uh listen to the podcast share it watch and all that stuff and i hope that uh i'm able to keep up good content and keep y'all interested um with that being said um thinking a lot i think this is number nine i think yeah i think it's number nine um i think if it's not it's number 10 but i ain't really sure um, this might be the last one I do for the year. So I wanted to kind of uh, use this time to uh, talk about something that I've been kind of kind of dealing with the past week or so, um, find out some news. And it really um, it was alarming because sometimes so much be going on that I don't know. I, I, I'm always on go. I, I'm always on go. So like I never really get too much time besides spending time with my kids or just my free time that I get, whether I'm here at the studio I never get too much time to just sit back and reflect. Normally, it's either during the podcast, before the podcast. This is like my reflecting session. I even got the light off right here just because I'm trying to reflect, right? But, um, yeah, so um, some kind of devastating news um, that happened. And just the kind of the space I'm in. I'm kind of in a rut anyway just with life and trying to make time for this and make time for that and um, mapping things out. It's just a lot going on right now. I'm multitasking a lot of my brain in my head. I was asked the other day, I was I was like, it was like, um, you are you in deep thought? And I was you no know, telling them like, yo, I'm always in deep thought. Like lately. Like I I mean I'm always, I've always been a, a deep thinker, but like lately I've been in deep thought like daily. Like I just I don't know. Like you sometimes you don't have time to think. So when I do, I'm in a car, I may sit for a while. Like I've been pulling up the places that I'm supposed to be, and I've been sitting for like 20, 25 minutes, like Anywhere, not just home, not just into the day type type thing. Like, I might even pull up to work early, just 25 minutes, just to get time to just chill, you know? But anyway, I'm talking too much. Um, So I want to talk about something real quick now. I want to talk about this, and, and I got to tell you a story first before I tell you, like, the real meaning behind why I'm talking about this and what happened and things of that nature. I want to give a little quick rundown. And normally I've, I've given this rundown a few times, but it's always been from my perspective and only about me and how I felt about certain things. And I never gave it um, the perspective with grace, with the possibility of this person could have been going through that, or the possibility of this is why this has happened and things of that nature. So I want to kind of run down real quick, quickly, um, if I can. So when I was 19, um, I opened up a restaurant with a guy um, named David, David Brunson. And he was he was older than me, pretty a little older, like maybe four or five years older than me. And we, um, yeah, so I'm 19 on restaurant, right? And it was a good, it was a good time, you know what I'm saying? We 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 turned it around. We got to make him more money. Um, great, great time. And just it ended, it ended on a bad note. Um, like all good things come to an end, but it ended on a bad note, right? And for a long time, at least for me, I always um, I felt a way about it because I felt like I, I left something in somebody's hands, and they they weren't um, as diligent and as careful as I would have been let's say that right I've always felt that way don't really know like that was just my thought process because I'm thinking about me and what I was doing versus what that person was doing right um after that we tried a few times to do other things but like I'm gonna stop there real quick first like I'm 19 mind you co-owning a business this guy David, you know, he he met me in college. We met in in, in a, a, I think a literature class. At the time, you can kind of see your classmates, your roster, or whatever, and you can see their major. He knows I majored in business, so that's how we got linked up. He just hit me on Facebook one day, and we linked up that way. And we had meetings for like a year, some change, just full of meetings of doing a business plan. We meet up, we meet up, we meet up, and we finally Obama passed the um healthcare act. The guy Gary wanted to sell his restaurant for dirt cheap. I think it was like fifty thousand, um, thirty thousand down, and we got it up. We did that, and you know, we we went from there. And then, like I said, ended sour. I don't, that 
because of what I'm talking about, I don't care about getting in too much detail in that. But I've spoken about it on my podcast. Probably if you want to hear that story, I'll send you a link. And then I also spoke about it on Main and Slim of recently, um, like about like in November. Uh, we did a podcast about that, so you can go in depth more about that. But anyway, it stopped and it ended on a on a sour note, really. And I felt away. I had a kid coming on away, so I didn't have nothing. My birthday was October 10th. We lost the business on I think October 12th. And my daughter was born December 6th. This is 2011. So I always felt the way. Like I had a big chip on my shoulder. I just, I had, I had a lot of disdain, um, a lot of dislike. And I just, a lot, a lot of things that went on that I didn't even speak about, never got a chance to speak about. And um, I just kind of took the L, right? But um, during this time, you know, me and him have became friends. You know, you're talking to somebody every day. You see him every day. So you become one of just business partners. You know, you start to know each other. Um, you start to care about how somebody's doing, their family members doing. And I just give you a rundown of him. Um, you know, very cool guy. Um, we came from very, we, from two different cloths, two different backgrounds, two different upbringings, um, and been through way two different for, um, stages of life, you know, even at the time we met. So I'm going to just put that out there. Um always always had a soft spot for him because um I don't know what it's like to lose a parent. Um I love my mother to death and he lost his mom to cancer. Um at a, not a young young age but you know before he was 25, you know what I'm saying? So um I think he was in high school maybe. Lost his mom to cancer. So I always felt the way like damn, that's that's messed up, you know. And then, you know, when he lost a business, he also lost his stepmom to cancer. I'm like, damn, he just can't catch a break. And um yeah, so I always had a soft spot for him. Cause I felt like, damn, it's just a, it's messed up. It's, it's messed up how life, how life was for him. You know what I'm saying? C- good head on the shoulders, though. Always, he was very, he was kind, he was ambitious, and, and he was, he was, he just, I don't know, he just, um, he had an eye for for buildings and, and finding spaces and getting an idea for business. He had that that mindset, right? So, anyway, um, fast forward, we tried different things. We had a a spot in Renz, a spot in Thompson, and none of it was working. So I kind of just cut my ties with it. Um, there was I wasn't really feeling a lot of his business practices at the time. But like I said, we came from two different hardships. So I'm gonna stop there also because I came up a little different. Um, my I, my I, my family wasn't the richest. My mom, you know, we off that um what system I would call it? Rob Peter the Pay Paul system, right? That's how I came up, you know. Like, all right, we, we won't pay. This is going to be cool being passed through. We'll pay that. We're going to be cool to being passed through. We'll pay that. He didn't come up that way. So a lot of times we face hardships or the business face hardships. And I'm thinking this now. Now I'm knowing this, you know. Um, I think he just would get um, flustered, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and panic. But I would never panic because I know, like, okay, well, maybe the lights can, we, you know, we might not pay the lights this month. We'll wait until the deadline and we'll pay it. But I came up that way. He didn't come up that way probably, right? And I don't know. Um, and I'm only saying this stuff just to give you a, a kind of basis before I get into my what I want to get into. So I'm sorry. Keep up with me. If I'm boring you, please give me a few more minutes and I, I'll get there. So, um, you know, years go on. You know what I'm saying? I, I do my own thing, start working for another company. And I had a rough time, too, like a rough ride. I went in deep depression for like two, three years. Like, like it was really rough for me. And... um. I got up out of that though, you know what I'm saying? And so did he. He got up out of it too. He had a lot going on, warrants and stuff of that nature, just all from the business, you know, a lot of a lot of things from that business transpired. And um he ended up getting a spot on Walton Way. Um, two spot actually, but you know, he moved to another location. Big spot. I, I was always still, you know, hesitant on doing business with him, but I didn't mind doing partnerships with him. You know, here and there, like we'll do, we'll do a partnership for this event, a partnership for that event, a partnership for this. It just wasn't no long term thing. But like I said, this was somebody that now was a friend, you know, for years. We talked. Even though I felt boy, I felt the way he felt, you know, how I felt about certain situations. Um, it was just something about him, you know what I'm saying? You make you wanna um I don't know, it just I didn't feel like I needed to um make him feel worse than he already felt because we both went through similar things. I didn't I wasn't the only one that went through something, right? So just overall good person, you know what I'm saying? Just a cool person, um, kind hearted person. Oh, uh, I think that a lot of times he just got used, you know. A lot of times I will say that he was super nice. So you could you could really shit on him, and you could need something from him next week, and he'll probably still give it to you, even though you shit on him. And he might tell you like, even though you know you know you know my friend, you know that I might still give it to you in a joking way, 
that was him though. That's just how he is, right? So, um, like I said, over the years we talked, we, we we had a good relationship and I did a lot of partnerships with him, you know what I'm saying? I helped him out with a lot of things. He, he stayed he stayed in business, had um spots uh with the Walton Way, he had a spot in Millersville Road, through parties, like that was something he was into. He just was business oriented. So, um, you know, more so past couple years we talked more, had, you know, real, real, real life conversations and um I was just happy, you know what I'm saying, that we were able to come out of what we came out of because that was almost a decade ago, you know what I'm saying, looking at where we came was, was great, both making good money and, and doing our thing. Uh, so, you know, early this year, about, you know, maybe April, maybe May, June, something like that, um, he had hit me up and no, I, I'm a, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm the type of person, I don't answer text messages like that, I will ignore a message in a heartbeat, um, and honestly, to to my fault, I say here I'm not I'm not that person that gonna not say the things about me. Definitely for him, like I would I would definitely know him a lot of times sometimes because um he was cool, but he was also like sometimes he could he could just ask a lot. He he needed a lot. He was very needy sometimes, you know. And um I was I would ignore him sometimes, and then sometimes he'll call me. You know I chop it up with him. We'll go get lunch and things of that nature. If you need me to do something about my keys or I ran out of gas, we had that kind of relationship. It's a friend. Like, it's somebody you need when you call you in a rut. Like, we did that We on, on both sides. So, um, earlier this year, he hit me and just was like, yo, you know, um, what you doing? He called me. You know, he called me one time and then on Facebook, though. And um, I was real busy. And I was like, yo, I'm going to hit you back. But I could hear in his voice. He was kind of like crying. You know, he wasn't really himself. Um, I didn't hit him back. And then, you know, a couple weeks later, he hit me again, and I hit him back. You know, he, he hit me a few times, but it, nothing never dawned me that something was going on. Just always like, what you doing? Or, you know what I'm saying? Um, are you out? Or are you on the side of town? Something like that. Just doing kind of questions. And normally, I wasn't on the side of town, or I wasn't out. You know, I was at work. And then this one day, he calls me, and um, he FaceTime. He's like, FaceTime video me on, 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 on Facebook, and... Um, he was crying. He was like, yo, yo, what you doing? You know, like, you know, you all right? And I'm like, I'm good. Like, what's up with you? You know, like, what's up? And um, he just shaking his head. He just kind of trembling. He just like, I'm like, yo, like, you good? Like, you all right? He's like, nah, nah. Um, and he told me that, you know, he was in the hospital pretty much at that time for like up to a month, month, almost a month, month and a half. And um, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, um. You know, we talk, he told me what's going on and that he got these tests run. They don't know what's wrong with him. He's just been there having headaches, these bad headaches for however long. And that he just, you know, he don't know. And I was like, yo, I'm going to come up there tomorrow. Um, I didn't. I didn't go up there the next day. Um, I can't remember what I did. I just, I just, I just didn't go up there. Um, he ended up getting a little better. He called me. He called me. He, well, I called him. He was like, yo, let's can you have lunch? No, he tested me. He said, um, his nurse saw a full circle. He said his nurse was listening to the podcast and he sent me a message and he was like, yo, the lady just walked in here saying, I love this podcast, and I asked her who it was, and it was you. And I was like, Dan, that's dope. Who is it? You know what I'm saying? He never got to tell me the name, but he was like, Yo, um, do you think you can um think we can have lunch today or something like that? I'm in the hospital, it's my room number. I went up there, you know what I'm saying? Went up there, um, brought him what he wanted, I had what I wanted, we we chatted for like two hours, we talked. And we laughed and joked, and I watched him. You know, they come in checking them and stuff. And um, I want to say he was having meningitis, so like he had these these headaches. I'm thinking that's what it's called. I don't know if I'm wrong. I'm wrong, but that's I think that's what it's called. And um, pretty much, he had one more test left. He's like, "Yo, they tell me like you know this this test. If anything go okay, I could just go home. If not, then you know I don't know what's gonna go from there." At this point, he had a, I know it's serious. Like at this point, he had to go fund me. And he just he just didn't look like himself. He had you know lost a lot of weight. And um, yeah, man, it was just it was just hard seeing he's seeing that right. But it still, it wasn't at the same time because in, in my mind, I'm like, all right, well, you know, I'm 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 always optimistic. I'm like, well, you you be home tomorrow. And I was right. I was right. I was right. Like he really in the real life went home. Like the next week, he was able to go home. The test came back. You know, whatever. And he was able to come home. And um, I remember, like, maybe two weeks after that, he came out. And he was like, yo, you at the studio? I'm like, yeah, I'm here at the studio right now. He drove by. He's like, hi, I'm about to pull up. He pulled up. 
You know what I'm saying? He pulled up. We spoke. Um, cause I was really leaving, but since he was coming, I was like, I'll stay. I was showing him how I edit the stuff, and we talked like 40, 45 minutes. Just good talk. He was telling me he lost, he lost a lot of weight, cut his hair and all that stuff. I was walking a little slow, but, you know, he was like, he getting acclimated back. He's working back and stuff. And it was just look, everything looked like it was up and up. And, um, yeah, so that was the last, that was, you know, that's how I really saw him. We spoke, you know, and that was that. So from there, um, he hit me up a few times about needing this, asked me how my my, mo- my promotion was going and Aiken and things of that nature. We spoke. We text here and there. We talk on the phone a few times. And, um, yeah, like, like next thing I know, he, he hit me up. He's like, yo, I'm back in the hospital, um, you know, but, you know, I think I, I don't think I'm going to be here long, you know. And he, we spoke on the phone. I'm like, all right, cool. That had to been about um, September was the last time I was spoke to him. And I don't know, like, what it was. Like, I don't know what came over me. But, like, I don't know, like, two week, like a week and a half ago, a week and a half ago, um, something just kept telling me, yo, check on David. Like, you know, just call David. Like, check on David. Check on him. And, like, you know, like I said, I'm always on go. I'm always on go. So, like, days. I, I was telling myself that, like, on Monday, then, like, on Wednesday, then, like, on Friday. But I just wouldn't never, I never, like, just, you know, text them and like that but i had heard from like i said since september and um yeah so i I, like two weeks ago i went to um i went to his page and i found that he passed away and like i had literally just told somebody a story of the, the having a business and bottom and stuff like that and I ain't gonna lie, like I felt like shit. And that shit been bothering me for a minute. Like I don't know if it's because, like I said, I know I be on go. I don't answer messages that much. I don't know. I don't know because because the feeling came over me and I hadn't spoke for a long time and just I don't know. Like I felt bad. Like I, like it was sad too and surreal because like like last time I spoke to him, he was doing he was doing well. He was he was doing okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just was like, damn, like just kept looking at the page like just scrolling and people saying stuff and mind you like when i see it when i saw it i'm gonna try to get out of day and when i saw it i got a lot of stuff on my phone right now but i'm gonna try to see if i can get to it real quick give me a second um when i went to it by the time i saw it i think it had been it was december of i don't know when i don't know man it was like december though but it was after my daughter's birthday, so it had to be after December 6th. But I felt like shit because he had died November 13th. And I'm like, damn, for a month. Ain't no telling probably before that month, probably before he even passed. Like I would tell him myself, like, go check on him, check on him, check on him, hit him up, call him. And ain't no telling like I could have, not saying I could save the world or save his life, nothing like that. But I just looked deep down, be feeling like I could have did more. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like, or I feel like if I just would have, when I when I said, like, when, I, when he came across my mind, if I were to send him a text or shout him a message on, on, on Facebook and just was like, yo, how you doing or something like that, and he could have told me how he was doing. And, you know, I could have went to the hospital and saw him. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. What, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel, I feel so, so bad because, when I think about the last six months of his life, like he died in November, that's eleventh. He been in the, he he was in the hospital, his birthday, his last birthday. He's been in the hospital since like May, June. It's like seven months, six months. And it's like the last six months of life were just it was just it was just sad. It was just sad and it was just full of sh- it was just, it was shitty. Like I even tell the part like when he got in the hospital the first time he called me, the first week he called me, whatever, and he was, you know, sad and crying and stuff. He had told me that his pops was coming to see him. But, like, not even a month into the hospital, his first day, like, from being there for that time, you know, his pops, um, he get a call. And it's this cop saying, like, yo, uh, you such and such. He's like, yeah, it's me. Well, we got your pops. We got your dad here in, in Macon. His dad drove to Macon. Like, and, like, just a snap of a finger, like, just overnight it seemed like his dad just had dementia. 
So like even his only support, his dad is that he's like daddy's boy. Like his dad was like everything to him. Like his dad was was everything. And in the last six months, like not only do you got all this brain and getting all these brain scrapings and and headaches and just body aches, losing weight, just not being yourself, probably felt lonely. I don't know how many friends he had or didn't have. We had our own relationship. I don't know if everybody like me just on go and just was ignoring certain things about him or just, you know, try not doing more of what we could could have been doing. Um, and to lose that support system and then having to take care of that after coming from the hospital and not being well and your only support system is is now, can't, don't even know who you are, don't remember, just a fucked up way to go out. Like, I mean, I, I just, like, I don't know, it just... I just felt sad. Like I felt, I remember just sitting there on the on the phone, just like scrolling, like yo, and like for days I was just like on autopilot. Like and I and I know my mood has been like very different lately because like I've been getting annoyed, but like I've been saying I haven't been saying nothing about being annoyed because I also don't want to snap on nobody who don't deserve to be snapped on or snap on the wrong person. I'm real big on that. I don't want to bring my energy into you know something else. But you no, know, my mind just wasn't there. Like, and I really had nobody to tell. Like, I just tweeted a little while ago, like, microphone, my best friend, because like sometimes you're on the phone, people, and people with so much, they so much, like putting they putting they they day and they they stress or the the small even minor minor stuff that they might be going through on you. I'm that person that sit, listen, and let you talk and make you you know hope hopefully you know after we talk about it, you feel better about the situation or you don't you know you just you just. You just, un, you know, un, unloaded a load, you know what I'm saying? I'll get that load off you. And I felt like I've been carrying the load for a little bit. I ain't really didn't know who or if I had somebody I can, you know, put it on. So I just wanted to use this podcast, this my platform or something just for that, just to kind of speak on it. And I know, at least my podcast, I know, like, with the camera and lights and all that stuff, like, you, it won't get too emotional. Like, I, I'm pretty sure you can sense it in me talking about it, but, you know, it just... I know not to, I'm not going to cry on camera and like that stuff. But I remember sitting there just like, my eyes got watery. Just, it just gets sad because it's like, yo, shit is, it's been a crazy year. For, at least for me, anybody that know me, know it's been like a rough year for me. But like, I lost like, so this is the second person. Like, and it's not that he was my best friend in the whole world. I don't like that. But I knew him for 10 years, 10 plus years. We started a business. Like, and even how I am now, like he's, he's a very influential part, whether, you look at the negative side, the positive side, or whatever. Like he's a very, very humongous, influential part of me. Even being some kind of a manager or, or leader in that business realm today, like the do's and don'ts, like the 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 trial and error. Like he's a big influential part of that. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like that shit just was fucking with me for days, for days, for days. I remember, I remember wanting to tell. I just couldn't, I don't know, I just couldn't, I think I told, I told one person, no, I didn't, yeah, I just told one person, and my man skinny was just like, yo, yo, like, that's, that's fucked up, like, you alright, and like, yeah, and, you know, we men, so of course we're not going to dig deep into it, but, yeah, this is a place, like, the microphone is just a place I can kind of just lay it on, you know, but all this that can allow, usually have a message, and like, my only message is to tell people, like, you know, if you, if it's somebody you think about, and y'all cool, or y'all not cool, whatever. But you, 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 like, I just feel like you don't think about nobody for no reason. So if you, if it, if you get a thought to reach out to somebody, I ain't saying you gotta um, give forgive every single person in the world, or you know, let bygones be bygones all the time. But just to check on some, see how they doing. It might be a reason. So it might have been a reason why I, why I was feeling this. Why I kept getting this. Cause like I just, I was just thinking like, yo, I ain't heard from him in a minute. He ain't like hadn't shared nothing or like nothing. The whole time he just he fighting a battle that you know, and I'm just on go, you know, I'm on go. He just fighting a battle, probably silently. I don't know how he was fighting. I don't, I wouldn't even know now, what like how rough it was or how rough it or it wasn't. Um, I didn't get a chance to contribute to the GoFundMe. I can't even call his pops and see how you know his pops not even his pops like 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 you know he's not even him no more. It just was a it just was a bad overall experience. It bad feeling too, like. It's a bad feeling, you know, and and um, I wouldn't really wish that nobody, but you know, I say I say I like to say like you know, 
definitely got to, aside from hitting people up when you think about them when they come across your mind and just checking on people, that you know, checking your people. Um, but aside from all that, though, just cherish life. Just cherish it. Life is short, but you got to cherish the life you have. Sometimes we complain. And I was talking to somebody on the phone today, and they was like, yo, how was the day? And I was like, yo, I'm off tomorrow, so, you know, I feel like my off, man, I'm off the next day. Like, nothing really gets to me. But then I had a conversation earlier, and that really bothered me because I was, it just bothered me for whatever reason. Like, the person didn't even do nothing, really. But I just was bothered by it, and I, was, I just was bothered. I remember thinking, like, yo, man, just just chill. Don't even say nothing. Like, don't just be calm, be patient. And... You know, just just let it be. But I was just bothered, and I think this has something to do with it. So I was like, I gotta today. I have to like talk about it. I can't just bottle it in. And so this is why I'm talking about it now. And um, yeah, I know this is a long time. This is very long winded, but I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know who else to talk to, or who else to say. I just wanted to get it out to to, to whoever would listen and whoever would, you know, what I'm saying, um, take this take this in, but. Yeah, um, man, rest in peace to my, my, my friend, you know, David Brunson. Um, sorry I was not there, you know what I'm saying, for you. But, you know, um, hopefully you watch over me still. And, you know, yeah. Um, Morning Masters Podcast, we out, man.